One of our challenges of early winter Shabbos is making sure that all our food is actually ready and cooked. And sometimes it just seems so overwhelming thinking, Shabbos is in at four o'clock. How am I ever going to get my food ready and done? So I'm going to share with you some very, very quick and easy things. There's also that amazing thing called the freezer. Let's get on the journey quick and I'm here to help. Your recipes are all written out for you. Let's see how quick we can do this. In fact, it's usually much quicker always doing the first bit and it's the washing up that takes the time. Did you ever worry about putting your rice on, not forgetting to turn it off, the steaming, all the things that we have to do? Well, um, I've learned a couple of easy tricks with um, rice and if you don't have a rice maker which is about literally 18 minutes to cook in two to three cups of rice but then you also have to wash up the container dismantle it and it's electric and it's plugged in so if you want the really easy way it's one cup of rice to two cups of boiling water um, I always make two cups of rice that's the truth you can either do it in a regular container or in your foil okay i like to sprinkle a tiny bit of salt just to bring out the taste some people like to add a little bit of oil i really try not to the important part is actually to use boiling water so for every cup of rice you're going to add two cups of boiling water just pour it straight over if you want your salt mixed in a little bit just mix it in what you've got to do is cover your rice and water well and now you're putting it into an oven, which is 175 degrees Celsius, okay? And close it up. Please do this very, very carefully, because remind yourself that there's boiling water in here. Gently put it into your oven, and voila, 25 minutes, your rice is gonna be ready. Just you wait and see. You know those favorite potatoes? Well, there are two ways that you can do them. One is just to make sure that you wash, cut your potatoes longwise, okay? Get them into your container. You wanna just do nice and simple, sprinkle a little bit of garlic, a little bit of herbs and some olive oil, put them into your oven on high and just leave them to roast beautifully. You want something a little bit different, a little bit of added calories, but nevertheless, absolutely, yummy and i'm sure you've all had them or heard of them some way now you just got to watch because there's no way to really measure this one you want enough mayonnaise okay that's going to cover our potatoes well because you're going to mix them in and i'm going to use my gloves and then we're going to take some onion soup mix okay and for anybody that's gluten free always buy your onion soup mix at Pesach time and i'll guarantee you these potatoes are great hot cold and anyway make sure they get well covered it's really using your mayonnaise instead of oil so it's not that much different and really that's it and we put them in the oven and i would cook mine on about 190 195 and really if i had really an idea of how long to leave them but if you need a good hour for them okay and they are just easy and everybody wants to know, how do you make them? I always like to say that chicken, you can just about not ruin. Some people tell me that that's not true. I believe in all your cooking. You have to just love what you're doing. You have to put a little bit of love into what you're making because you're going to be sharing because that's what the woman is about. She's cooking and making and sharing. And it doesn't matter who we're going to be doing that with. So a little bit of love goes a long way. Put all these amazing seasonings that you go shopping and you think like, what do I choose? But take a look at this one. Take your onion soup mix. I'm going to just sprinkle it over because that's what's going to give a little bit of the thickness and flavor. Okay, not too much. Nothing like a little bit of sweetness and color. So we spritz. some ketchup and then yummy chutney you know you get this um, in shops that all sell the South African um, products um, now if you can't find chutney you don't need to really have only chutney if you don't have chutney secret apricot jam 
um, and as somebody phoned me and said, I've only got strawberry jam in the cupboard, I said, mm, no. But if you've tried it already, let me know what it tastes like. So apricot jam <laughs> or chutney. And we're just going to, again, a few tablespoons, quarter of a cup maybe, and that's it. And then a fascinating ingredient, and I'm gonna be very good, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna pour in a cup Okay, and let's just hope that it doesn't fizz over too much. But if you take about a cup, gosh, this is not like me to measure anything. So we'll pour over a cup. That looks good. That looks good. What you have here, you can use the exact same measurement for a whole chicken cut up in eights. You can actually use it for a whole chicken, um, which you're cooking as a whole chicken. Or I have here six leg thighs. Now, to tell you the truth, I don't know, depending on how many people you're going to be serving and eating with, but you can really cook this and you can put it into the freezer once it's cooked and take it out on Thursday night that it's going to be just ready to actually heat up. Okay, just make sure that your chicken is well covered. Okay, I bake mine open and again, this amount for approximately an hour on 180 yum and easy just to add with that chutney recipe really it can go on beef cooks amazingly brisket but you have to make sure that it is fresh brisket not pickled i made the mistake only once in my lifetime and you will never make it again and when you slice it when it's cold freeze it in the gravy and when it comes out it is absolutely easy and fantastic and so easy to just defrost and warm up for chucks. 25 minutes, 175 degrees Celsius, and let's see what happens. Again, please be very, very careful of the steam, but you're just checking that it's all cooked through. And there we have it. And it's always good if you've got too much. You've always got leftovers for Sunday lunch. But we've got Shabbos ready and made. You Hashem, da 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 la la. Thank you Hashem, da 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 la la. Thank you Hashem, thank you Hashem. Pahamoide es Hashem, ha pahamoide es Hashem, ha pahamoide es Hashem. Kili oilom li oilom chastoy.